everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today I'm going to make a really neat dinner. I have a couple of fantastic looking porterhouses as well as some potatoes and I have Brussels sprouts. I'm going to do a cucumber salad. I have a couple of zucchinis here I'm going to throw in the oven with the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts as well as making some biscuits for us. I have my Carrabba's Spice Blend that I've hacked and figured out. I'll post that in the show notes if you want. And I have some fantastic looking cherry peppers here uh, with a tail on them, some balsamic vinegar. Hey, don't worry about the, um, the ingredients though. You don't have to write all this down right now because if you just go to the website, which is James tdds.blogspot.com or if you click on the subscribe button and then the more button you'll see all the details there of the show recipe. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like the show. Now, let's get started with things. I need to work on the potatoes. So I've already washed them and I have my chopper and my chopper came with two different cutters for these potatoes. I'm going to use the quarter inch square. So I literally just drop this in just like that. It should be locked in there. Let's just make sure it's locked in there all right. And then we put the potato in. Say goodbye potato. Well, I tell you, this sure beats cutting them up with uh, a knife. I gotta move a few things here and make some room. I have the oven preheating, so I need to get these biscuits in next. But let's show you what I'm doing here with this. Look at this. How about that, huh? Potatoes are all done, all set, ready to go. Then I will wash these next and these. So I'll take those in the kitchen in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this ready. So, you know, these things here have this kind of funny little way that you pull these and they explode. Just like that. Now it says ungreased cookie sheet. So you just literally go ahead and put these on an ungreased cookie sheet. Lay them out. Throw them in the oven. And then I have some garlic liquid topping to put on top of these. That should be fantastic. There we go. These are pretty easy. A lot better mixing the dough up and doing all that stuff yourself. All right, let's throw these in the oven and then I can wash these while I'm in here. These are all washed. Just catch them here with a paper towel real fast just to pat them dry so later on when I go to cook them, I don't put wet mushrooms into the oil. Now I'll just pop these stems off the bottom of these. I'm not a big stem person. These are all set. Eating this Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and all this kind of stuff is actually good for you. And there's a lot of studies on the internet of people that were diabetic and they started eating all these vegetables and all of a sudden they are not diabetic anymore. Now, I'm not much for going vegetarian. Um, I like to eat beef enough where that's not in my plans. But I would rather eat Brussels sprouts than a bag of potato chips, you know. So here we go. This looks really good. Up the last one. And there we go. That's all set. 
And then I have the zucchini. Now these zucchinis are getting old here. They've been sitting around here, so I just want to get some good material. And uh, I can cut these up. These, the ends look good still. So I'm just kind of thin circles, just like this. And then I'll just cut this in little pieces real fast. There we go. There we go. That's all set. Now, scoop these up, drop them in here. Just like that. And then, salt and pepper, and a little more olive oil on top. No olive oil is keto, so olive oil is good for you. Here's the pepper. Crack some fresh black pepper. And then here's some salt. like that. Then I have potatoes, potatoes and potatoes and potatoes. See these kind of cover your other stuff. So I put them in last like this. So now we want to salt always salt your potatoes and I'm using a garlic sea salt and then another layer of pepper I love pepper I think the taste is really fantastic on the pepper okay now let's go ahead and throw this in the oven Now let's do the cucumbers and I uh, just threw that in the oven so let's start the timer for 20 minutes. So we have 14 on the rolls and we have 20 on all the rest of the stuff. So I did the oven at 350 so when this is up in 4 minutes I'm going to boost it up to 400. Let's get this cucumber cut up for our salad. Now I have to cut it in half. It's the only easy way to handle a cucumber. Cut it in half, cut it in half. Just like that. I always look at it, make sure it's all good and everything. If there's anything I don't like, I'll go ahead and cut that off and get rid of it right away. So let's go ahead and just cut up for the salad. And then we're done with this aspect of it. I think one thing that I will do though is to put some sea salt on top and dry things out a little bit. Here is my Carabas secret recipe. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit right on top there. Just until later so I have this all set and ready to go. Steaks we need to put our seasoning on them. So this is a rub. I can move them over here where you can probably see a little better. I just give them a little bit of a rub with this. And then I take the carabas. Up. So I'm going to kill this 
this one. Here's our rolls. This pan is mighty hot. So let's set these aside to cool. If you don't have a cooling rack, pulling a rack out of an oven or any kind of baskets or anything that you can put it on will help. Get some air under the pan to stop it from cooking. Now we need to get the steaks out to the grill. So I'm going to go fire up the grill and I'll be right back. These are fresh out of the oven and they are hot. So, switch hands here. I have a basket. Now if these are going to sit around for a long time, you're going to want to use a stone and heat the stone in the oven and then put your towel in your basket and then put your rolls in there. But you know these steaks are five minutes per side. By the time I get all this stuff done, the steaks will be done. Even though I am cooking on a griddle on top of the grill and they're going to cook slower, more indirect heat, but not really like the steaks I've made before where I did do total indirect heat where the steaks were on the right and the fire was on the left. Okay, those will just stay warm like that. You can use some aluminum foil over them too if you want to do that. Let's pitch this. I need to do the mushrooms. So here they are. And these are just going to get sliced. You don't want them too small or they'll burn. You want them kind of like this. There's not much you can do while the steaks are cooking and stuff in the oven. So this is pretty easy. You're kind of done. So you take it out of the oven and start to serve it up. We just need to make the sauce for these, so we'll do that next. Now, some people would use sugar. I'm not using sugar on these. I'm using the Truvia, however you pronounce it. And at the end, you might want to use some Parmesan cheese. So here's our mushrooms, olive oil, burner on, olive oil, here is our balsamic, here's our sugar substitute, let that sit for a minute. Looking mighty delicious. Kind of mix this up a little bit. Careful now you don't splash this on yourself because this is going to be hot. But you just want it to get a little bit thick. You don't want it to burn. And then you can put your mushrooms in. I'm dropping them against my spatula. Steak is off the grill. Here's our our sides. A few little cherry peppers. Here's our salad. And then our mushrooms. Go right on top of the steak, just like that. Those look absolutely delicious. And I have the rolls here. They came out real well. So here's what your rolls are, are looking like. So I'll put one of those on the plate. It's all set, ready to go. This is your quick meal. Thanks for watching. One last thing is, is if you like biscuits, hit the thumbs up button. Just a quick question. How many people like biscuits? Hit the thumbs up button. This is the meal. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.